This video is brought to you by Parker Sporlin. Check out the Sporlin Zoom Lock and imagine a life without brazing. Hello guys, good morning. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about a tool that I've been given to test out, which I'm pretty excited about, and is the Yellow Jacket Mantooth. Now, Mantooth has been around for a while. Here it is right here. Mantooth's been around for a while, but I've never had a chance to test one out. So Yellow Jacket sent me one to take a look at and give you some feedback on. But for this video right here, all I'm going to do is take it out of the box, kind of show you the different parts, kind of go over what they are. So we have a box here, and I'll describe this box as a plastic case, nothing too heavy duty. So somewhere in between a Testo probe and a Sporlin smart tool. You know, Sporlin's got the nice Pelican style case, and then the Testo probes have like a cloth case. This thing's right in the middle with durability. It's not quite as tough as the spoil and stuff, but a little bit better off than if you had like a cloth case like the Testo probes. So I'm going to open it up. We're going to take a look at it. Of course, this tool is a Bluetooth tool. It communicates with your phone. We're going to test the Bluetooth capability out. I'm projecting that it'll be similar to a Testo Smart Pro in distance. We're going to check and see. I'll be using my phone, which is an Android phone. That won't be on this particular video, but it will be coming up really soon. And it has... As you can see, Bluetooth, iPhone, iPad, so you have Android and iOS as well. And this particular tool comes with the vacuum sensor. You can buy it with and without the vacuum sensor. So I'm going to open things up here. Of course, you have the instructions. Who needs that, right? I'm just kidding. Read the instructions. We have pressure probes and... The cool thing about these pressure probes is, let's get a little closer look at them. The cool thing about these pressure probes right here is the fact that they're really durable feeling. You have a little band here to indicate if it's high side or low side. And also you have a pass through right here so you can actually charge when the port's on there or recover or whatever you want to do. There is a little mini USB. And there's a little light that comes on. When you turn it on, you see that right there. We're going to go into all that stuff later, but I just want to show you the probe. So that's the one I've designated as a high side probe. And of course, there's a there's another probe here. Low side probe, same thing. Pass through. The pass through is very nice. It's one of those things that you see on a tool and go, why didn't they all do that? Of course, it has two pipe clamps, which are pretty standard fare right there. I compare these other pipe clamps and other smart probes. This one's a little bit better because the tension is a lot better. Now, if I put it on my finger here, this thing isn't going anywhere. It doesn't droop. I've seen a lot of them. You see some with the sensor built into it, and that tends to droop because it doesn't have enough grip to offset the weight. This thing will not have a problem with that. Like I said, I have it clamped on right here. It's not moving at all. It's lightweight. And of course, part of that is the fact that it's wired. It's wired to the pressure probes, so you don't have to have that Bluetooth module inside the probe itself. And of course, there's a high side, as indicated by the band that they give you to put on them. Pretty simple stuff. You designate which pressure probe is which. So they can be either one. This is kind of cool. It has a vacuum sensor. We're going to zoom in here and take a look at it. Vacuum sensor is pretty cool. You know, you can see it here has a little plug in the end of it very compact and just wires back each one of the different temperature clamps and the vacuum sensor have the same sort of three and a half millimeter plug that's what i call it because of headphones and stuff like that but it's really compact it's kind of nice so overall impressions of the tool right out of the box is it's feels durable has a nice weight to it what i mean is Tools that are typically tough are also typically heavy. These aren't heavy by any means, but you can tell they're built well. There's a big old United States flag on the front of the box, which indicates they came from our country. Now, I don't know if that's assembled. The parts came from our country. You know the drill, guys. Sometimes they ship a whole bunch of parts to a factory in the United States, and that's assembled. Doesn't mean all the parts were made in the United States. Just mean some part of the process was in the United States, typically the last part. The clamps seem very durable. There was discussions, me and Ralph discussed some of the differences between these clamps and the CPS clamps. How if you take these clamps and you put lateral motion on them, you push from side to side, 
CPSs would separate here at the head or the jaw, and these don't do that. They're very tough. They're not going to have the same issues that the CPS clamps had. They're not going to have the same issues that the testo probes had. Concerns that I would have. Of course, Bluetooth distance is a concern. Connectivity. We'll see how well it stays connected. See if it loses connection and reboots automatically. The field testing will be the best. So we're going to probably go over to my Goodman package unit, hook it up, and see how it does. But today, that's just our first impressions of the tool. We'll go a little bit farther. We might get some measurements on them because they're somewhat similar size to most of the other smart probes out there. Not, not so different that I would comment on it saying they're larger or smaller. Looks about the same. We have a set of the field piece probes here as well. We're going to be going through those after we get done with the yellow jacket probes. So stick around for some more videos. I'll see you in the next one. If you like this video, please try out my podcast, HVAC Shop Talk and the Tradesman Podcast. You can find these on Stitcher for Android, Podcast Addict for Android, or the podcast app for iPhone. This video is brought to you in part by Ampro. Make sure to check out the new Ampro IRC-110 thermal imaging camera. Perfect for HVAC technicians in the field.